Whoa, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. So in part of us covering all the dinosaurs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom today, we are covering the awesome and amazing Stegosaurus. So make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications and leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite dinosaur and let's jump right into exploring the spiky lizard. <laughs> Stegosaurus, hands down one of the most beloved dinosaurs in all of dinosaur history. The name Stegosaurus means roofed or covered lizard. This dinosaur is one of the strangest looking animals to ever have walked the earth. And there is so much information about it, so I'm really excited to provide you guys with all of that in this episode. So let's dive right in. Yes, the Stegosaurus, another Jurassic dinosaur. The amazing and unique Stegosaurus lived about 150 to 140 million years ago, during the Jurassic period of the Mesozoic era. It used to roam the forests and mountains of what is now Western North America, so that means it lived alongside a lot of cool dinosaurs, like the Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and even the Brachiosaurus, which we have already covered on this series. Now let's find out how this crazy dinosaur looked. Oh geez, this thing was insane. Imagine a tank with giant plates on its back, and a baseball bat with screws sticking out of the end, and oh yeah, a, a bird's beak on the front. And that's basically a Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Stegosauruses were all over the place when it comes to design, and the species Stegosaurus is not a standalone example. These stegos come from a family of dinosaurs called the Stegosaurids, and you can find Stegosaurids all over the globe, like the Kentrosaurus in Africa or the Huangosaurus in China. Being able to find a bunch of different Stegosaurids around the globe shows us that this was a really successful species. And on top of that, the body design must have been really successful as well. I mean, considering it did survive for a few tens of millions of years. I mean, if I had a spike tail, I wouldn't be complaining. So, some of the most striking features of the Stegosaurus you need to know about. The spike tail, called the Thagomizer. That's Thagomizer, if I didn't say that clear enough. The giant plates on its back, and of course, one of the smallest brains for any dinosaur to body ratio that we know about. The functions of the plates on the back of the Stegosaurus has been widely debated in the scientific community for a very long time. Paleontologists infer it could be anything from a display feature of the animal, either scaring off predators or attracting potential mates, or these plates might have been used for body temperature regulation, similar to the sail of the Dimetrodon, not a dinosaur, or the ears of an elephant. Also not a dinosaur. As well, that spiked tail, the Thagomizer. Such a cool name. I wish my name was Thagomizer. That tail sported giant spikes, like two to three foot spikes. Also, the Stegosaurus is about 20 to 30 feet long and about 10 to 14 feet tall. Dino fame time. Why the heck is the Stegosaurus such a famous dinosaur? <sighs> oh geez, there's so much to list over here, so we're gonna go through this fast. So the first kind of notable mention of the Stegosaurus is in the book, The Lost World by Sir Conan Arthur Doyle. This book is amazing. If you haven't read it, you should read it if you're a dinosaur lover. It shows off a really archaic and old design of what a Stegosaurus was thought to have looked like. Since then, it's been featured in almost everything that has the name dinosaur, from King Kong, to Walking with Dinosaurs, to Planet Dinosaur, to Dinosaur Fight Club, to of course, the famous Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World series that we all know and love. It's been a key player in pretty much every dinosaur video game or coloring book that you've seen growing up as a kid, and I mean, if you've just ever been a child, you know what a Stegosaurus is. I mean, you might not know the name, but you know what it looks like. So with that being said, let's jump into the diet and behavior. What the heck did a Stegosaurus eat? So besides the general badassery that the Stegosaurus indulged in, this dinosaur was an herbivore, a little gentle giant, but probably not so gentle. Paleontologists have actually done studies in the bite force of the Stegosaurus to try to figure out what it ate and how it chewed, and they found that the bite force of a Stegosaurus falls somewhere in between a golden retriever and modern cattle. So that means it probably browsed low to the ground eating grass and twigs and leaves from the floor. As for behavior, the Stegosaurus is probably a calm but territorial animal. Due to that Thagomizer, we can assume that it probably didn't mess around too much when it came to self-defense. It could probably seriously injure any attacking dinosaur with that insane tail with spikes on it. As for intelligence, the Stegosaurus was probably not the smartest animal in the world, just due to its puny little brain size. But then again, being a Stegosaurus, you don't really need to have a giant brain. You kind of just need to know how to eat and protect yourself. And that's all, folks. That's your Stegosaurus. That was a fun one, wasn't it? I love the Stegosaurus. I loved seeing the Stegosaurus in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It was actually cool seeing it quite a few times in that movie. It's just always awesome seeing these dinosaurs portrayed in those Jurassic World and Park movies. And with that, we're going to end this episode, but we want to remind you that if you like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and you want to know more about the dinosaurs from that movie, you should subscribe because we're literally doing a deep dive on every dinosaur featured in that movie. So you're not going to want to miss these episodes. Make sure you're subscribed 
turn on those notifications, leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up, and also leave us a comment with a dinosaur you would like to see in a video coming up. If you like this channel and you want to support us, you can send us a donation on PayPal. The link to that will be in the description. And we're going to see you guys in the next video when we cover the ferocious and Jurassic Allosaurus. See you then. Goodbye.